Sleep. What's wrong with that? It's 11 o'clock, Mr. Roby. You can't lay there all day. Beat it. Blow. Hey! Cut that out. If you were a man, you'd be out looking for a job. Uh, if you were a man, I'd kick your teeth in. There's coffee on the stove. Don't ever talk to me like that, Nick. You've been talked to worse. Only by you, you dirty pup. Oh, knock off, Mom. You've just got too big a hangover. I'll kill you if you talk like that. You're losing your punch, Mom. with you. I wait over in Lombardi's almost two hours. I slept late. I don't feel so good today, so I slept late. Of all the days to sleep late, you picked this one? I know, but I, I had to see a dream. And uh, I'm telling you, I don't feel so lucky today. When I tell you, you'll know I, I got no luck today. You see, I, I'm running. Where do we get to Lombardi's? I can't stand here on this seat and listen to dreams. Okay, but... So I'm running so hard in this dream, Al, that my lungs are burning up. And I see this I guy. had a dream of my own. Florida in the winter, mountains in the summer, top draw all the way. Yeah? It's the jackpot, Nick. For you and me, and no nickel stuff. It's the quarter machine. But I didn't tell you how it ended. I, I had to shoot this guy. And it was... Well, look, Al, Al, it's a hard luck day for me. Let's do it next week. Get the dandruff out of your blood. I'll hit the jackpot next week. So maybe next week, it'll be a toothache, or, or maybe another dream. Or maybe athlete's foot. I got enough luck for both of us. Did you... Did you bring a gun? Uh, no, I, I... Okay, finish the beer. We'll go pick it up. Sure. Listen now. What do you say? Squares, waiting for their pay. Have I got news for them? What if 
if he comes with somebody? He comes alone. I've seen him a dozen times. But suppose this... Leave the thinking to me. You think slow, make your move. Yes, but you think slow, so let me handle that department. All right. Suppose something happens. And that nothing's gonna happen.
What about Officer Newcomb? I can't tell. The rats. We got a good description of his partner, and we got the whole area covered down to the beach. How long before they're probably conscious? A uh, bullet hit his spine. It'll be quite a while before you get even a squeak out of him. Keep working on him. When he comes to, we'll get all we want to know. swim good. Just remember one thing, relax. Like this. Watch me. See? Yeah, it looks easy, but I don't feel like relaxing when there's nothing but water under me. Well, come on, you try it. No, I don't think I could. Well, I'll help you. All right. Well, you know, you're too tense. Yeah, just uh, lay back on the water and relax. Like this? That's right. It's easy. Oh, sure. Now try the kicks below. Oh, oh no, I couldn't. Well, then turn around. <laughs> oh, I got a hold of you. Don't worry. You're too stiff up front. Now kick your feet below. Come on, harder, harder. All right, that's fine. Keep kicking. I'll turn you around. Go on. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Thanks. I gotta go in now. Well, you haven't learned anything yet. Yeah, but it's getting late. I gotta go. Don't hey. Go. Don't go. You're hurting my arm. Well, go ahead. If that's what you want to do, go. Clear the pool, please. Please clear the pool. Please clear the pool. Okay, what's wrong? My locker is open. Take it well, easy. Gone. Give me the key. Give me the key. This is 168. Makes quite a change. Uh, tell me, what's your name? You know, you're funny. How come? Well, before you were nice to me, and then you scared me half to death, and now you want to know my name. Well, I didn't mean to scare you, honest. I just got mixed up for a minute, that's all. Oh, what's the matter? I just asked your name. Does that mean something the matter? No. It's Peggy, Peggy Dobbs. Uh huh? What's yours? Hmm? What's your name? Nick. Nick Martin. It's late. I'll take you home. Why don't you ask me first if I, I want you to take me home? Okay. I, uh... I'd like to take you home. Supposing I say no? Well, you wouldn't say no. Well, supposing I just walk away? Well, you couldn't, Peg. Well, please. C can I take you home, please? I'd be very happy to have you take me home. Swell. Well, we'll hop a cab, huh? Oh, I didn't mean you had to take a cab. Well, I always do. Well, I almost never do.
Thanks for the lift. Oh, oh, forget it. Uh, do you go to the plunge often? Sure, sure. Well, um, I'm usually there Tuesdays and Fridays. I'll see you there. All right. Well, thanks again for the lift and the swimming lesson. Good night. Keep it. Recording Beethoven's Fifth, Arturo. Come on up later, I'll play it for you. Oh. That's Everett. He, he likes music. Classical. <laughs> oh. It's lucky you found it. Yeah, it's lucky. You know, you did promise to let me take you home, didn't you? <laughs> well, you're not home yet, are you? Comfortable. I'll be with you in a minute. Uh, how do you do? I, uh, I'm Dad? Peggy. Hiya, baby. We didn't wait for dinner. We thought uh, that... Dad, this is Nick Martin. Uh, we met at the plunge. Well, hello. Glad to know you, son. Uh, sit down, sit down. Wife will be right out. Uh, we're taking in the movie. Air cooled. Uh, have a chair, Nick. Do you have a nice day, Dad? Ah, uh, fine, baby. Pretty busy, though. An extra edition on account of the shooting. What shooting? Payroll hold up. Some rotten punk. He wanted a cop getting away. You live in the neighborhood, Mr. Martin? No. Uh, Mom, this is Mr. Martin. This is my mother. I'm pleased to meet you. My goodness, young man, why don't you take off your coat? Yeah. Oh, thanks, sir. I, I kind of like it on. On a night like this? Well, did you have a nice swim, dear? Oh, it was wonderful. There's food in the ice box. Hey, Mom, come on. Let's go. Hey, That's Mom, my kid brother. Yeah, he's afraid we'll miss the car, too. Say, maybe you kids like to come along with us, would you? Huh? Pleased to have met you, Mr. Martin. Hope to see you again. Yeah. Uh, nice to have met you. Good night. Uh, there's some iced tea, Peg. Better see you get some before he passes out. Night. Okay, Mom. You like him? Yeah, I swell. Anyone else in the family? Oh, just the four of us. Mom, Pop, Tommy, my kid brother, and me. Your, uh, your father, is he a newspaper reporter? He worked for a newspaper or something? Well, he's not exactly a newspaper reporter, but he's got a very good job in the paper. He um, works downstairs in the printing room. He's a press operator. Sit down. Tell me about your family. I haven't got a family. You're all alone? I'm sorry. There are a lot of worse things, I guess. Would you like something to eat? Later. Maybe you'd like to go outside for a while. We could go for a walk or maybe go dancing somewhere. No, I don't want to go out. You've got a radio here, haven't you? We can dance here. All right. so 
tight I can hardly breathe. Well, that's the way I dance. Well, there are other ways. Let me show you. I dance the way I like to. Well, there are nicer ways, Nick. Honest. Relax. Remember what you told me? Relax. You don't like the way I dance? We won't dance. Sorry. I, I don't feel so good anyway. Excuse me. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Forget it. It's not you. It's me. I. Well, you know, you're, you're nice. It, it, I just had a bad day, and I, I, I don't feel so good. Oh, you're awfully warm. Well, that feels good. Let's cut it out. What's the matter? Nothing, nothing. I, I wish I knew how you wanted me to be. If only you'd tell me. It's not you, it's me. I, I got big trouble. Trouble. I don't feel good. No good. No good. What's going on here? Nothing. He was sleeping. I fixed something neat. Oh. Oh, what time is it? Oh, about 12 o'clock. Where are your folks? They'll be home pretty soon. I better blow. Nick, what about the sandwiches? No, thanks. Uh, will I see you again? Yeah. Sure. When? I'll call you. State eight six two three four. Come in. Come in. There are you, folks. Who are those two guys with them? They're cops. I can spot them a mile away. No, they're not. They're neighbors. Mr. Gutman's a baker. I'll prove it to you, Mr. Gutman. No, you don't. Get in the hallway. Go on. What are you doing? The cop don't get in the house. They're not cops, Nick. They're neighbors. Tell him to send the cop away. If he doesn't, I'll... Dad, uh, did you bring anybody up with you? What? No. Are you all alone? What are you talking about, baby? Come on, let us in, Peg. What you got the lock of that door for? All right, Tommy. Well, it's just a lockout, honey. Yeah, since when do you keep the chain on the... Stand still and keep quiet. What? What's happened? What, what, Mom, what do what he says. That's right, lady. You can't treat my... We're not rich, Mr. Martin, but whatever you want, take it and go. I don't want anything. Shut up. Please, Nick. You too. The name isn't Martin, it's Roby. Nick Groby. Come on, come on. You work for a newspaper? That shooting, the heist, that punk, that's me, Nick Roby. I must have read that story a thousand times. The only one they identify was a man named Bolin, Al Moon. Huh? Yeah, that's right. You're kidding. <laughs> oh, I'm not kidding. I, I read it a thousand times. I... I told you. I shouldn't have told you. I... I've been running all day. I've got to catch my breath. I've got to have time to think. Leave me alone. Go on. Go on! Hey! Is there any other way out of this rat trap? I'll find out myself anyways. No. Remember, I don't want to hurt. 
had nobody. Nobody. I brought him home. How, how could I do such a thing? How, how could I make such a mistake? How, how could I think he, he was nice, even for a single moment? There's, there's something wrong with me. Real wrong. There's nothing wrong with you, child. Don't forget, baby, we were fooled by him, too. Not the way I was. OK. Okay, break it up. Come on, Peg. in there. But he couldn't. He wouldn't. He knows as long as he's got Tommy, we can't take a chance. He's like a mad dog. I'm arresting. As long as we don't make a move to catch him, he won't hurt us. We've got to keep quiet. Pretend we're asleep. By morning, he'll be gone. Feel to shoot someone. What? Did you ever kill anybody with your gun? Did you? No. Why don't you go to bed? Go on, knock off. Family's all right. The kids asleep. Don't be scared. I. If I can only get off this merry-go-round, figure things out. I. Nick. Huh? The police don't even know your name. You'll be all right could go away. How soon after I leave would you tell him? Nobody here would tell him. I, I wouldn't let him. I, I promise you I'll keep you safe. Would you, Peg? Would you really? Believe me. I'll do anything I, I can to help you. Only... Would you keep me safe? Honest, I will. Only go, Nick. Please. For a minute, you had me fool there. But I'm a little smarter than you, sister. And don't you forget it.
wash all day? Hurry up, I'm hungry. You stay here till I'm ready. Him. Go ahead, kid. Eat. You know, uh, I'm glad you didn't try anything funny last night. Oh. Here's for your trouble. You don't suppose I can have a cup of your coffee before I hit the road? Thanks. Sugar? Coffee. <laughs> well, come on, come on, sit down. What are you standing for? Don't worry, I'm leaving. Hmm. Anybody see a newspaper this morning? That didn't come. Sure it did. Okay, Pop, where is it? It didn't come. Come on. Nick, we won't tell a soul. We'll put her out of our minds. Trust us. Go down the stairs. Leave now. Please. Go, please go, Nick. We now. don't mean any harm. We've never hurt anyone in our whole lives. For your own sake, do what they say. You all want me to go? Sure. You too. Uh, I didn't see the paper, Nick. I didn't know. If I had, I, I would have told you. I would have warned you. Go out in the street and get my guts splattered all over the sidewalk? That's what you want me to do? So you can say they got Nick, that poor dumb slob? Where can I go that safe? Where? Where? I'm staying here. You can't. That phone you pulled off the wall. Some of you reported out of order. The phone company will send a man. What? We've got to go to work. You just try. We've got to buy food. We've got to go on with our lives. That's my girlfriend. Nobody leaves. She'll come up the steps. She'll knock on the door. Dad! Oh, don't. You can go to work. But one of you stays with me all the time. All the time. And remember, as long as I'm safe, your family is safe. And the minute a cop shows whether you sent him or not, the one who was with me gets this. I saw you dumb flat feet across the street this morning. Staking us out, weren't you? Waiting for Nicky to come home. Okay, lady, where is he? You ain't gonna find him in there. Who are his friends? The only friend he has in the world is Al Mullen. Al was his buddy. Come on, lady. Where is he? You tell me you know everything. We know he's somewhere here in town. And if he tries to get in touch with you, you'd better let us know. It'll make it easier on you. It'll make it easier on all of us. We're gonna get him, lady. Get him? Kill him? Kill him? No, get out of here. Go on, get out. I tell you what. I take out old Faith for see like this. Slip up on him when he's asleep. Or maybe out of a window when his back's turned. Yeah, you forget he had a gun too. And, and supposing he missed. Look. Are you a red-blooded man or ain't you? Oh, take it easy, Stan. Remember, I told you this whole thing is purely hypothetical. I read it in a book. Uh, 
What would you think about telling the police? You said this guy was a cop killer, didn't you? Like this Nick Robbie's here? You ever see firemen? Chop, chop, chop. What do they care what they break up just so they put out a fire? Same way with cops and cop killers. Yeah. Telling the police is the last thing this guy should do. How does it end? Hmm? The story. Oh, I don't know yet. I, uh, I, uh, I didn't finish it. I got as far as the father was so scared because of his family. I, he hadn't made up his mind. A guy like that should go around in skirts. The brutal killing of Officer Newcomb has aroused the anger of every law enforcement agency. A statewide manhunt is in full swing for Nick Roby, identified as the trigger man in yesterday's shooting by his accomplice, Al Molin. The chief of police declared this... My friend, Al. He was going to do all my thinking for me. Nothing was going to go wrong. They think just because they got me on the radio, I'm going to walk in and hand myself over. Sure. Why don't you go now? It's your only chance. What chance? Are you kidding, lady? I got 10,000 bucks. Well, I just got killed trying to get my hands on it. You don't think I'm going to give that up, do you? I got big plans. Florida in the winter, the mountains in the summer. Then why are you staying here? Don't worry. I'll get out as soon as I... Oh, my, I couldn't work. I, I was worried about you. Where's Tommy? Down at the playground. We're both all right. Mom, let me talk to him. Nick? Say, what kind of outfit you got on? You a waitress or something? I work in a bakery. Oh. What do you want? I know you don't want to harm any of us. But if you stay here, you will. Something will happen and you'll have to. So please, for me, leave us alone. Go away. When we met, you liked me. You said... I was in a jam. I wouldn't look at you twice. Go back to the bakery. Hey. You, uh... You want me to get out of here? You want to help me? All you have to do is... make a call for me. Call my old lady. You said you were alone. Forget it. Call her and tell her I'll meet her anywhere she says, any place. I'll need a car. Tell her I'll need a car. It'll mean plenty of money for her. You tell her that. She'll like that. Plenty of money. Mrs. Roby. But he's your son. He needs you. And Mrs. Roby. Mrs. Roby. Peg, I was here once before today. I, I was calling his mother. I, I went home for lunch. I, I was worried, and he asked me to call his mother. She doesn't care what happens to him. And she was the only person he could think of to help him. Peg, maybe you better go to your Aunt Rachel's tonight. Don't come home. Well, I, I can't do that, Daddy. I have to get... That's his problem. But he trusts me. I'll give him the message myself. Well, maybe I can get him to leave. You let me handle this. I'm your father. I'm telling you what to do. Don't come home. Well, Dad... 
What are you going to do? Don't you worry about that. Just do what I say. Thanks very much, Sally. That's okay. You haven't forgotten tonight. Pick you up at your house at 7.30. No. I... I can't go. Hey, after all the trouble I went to to get you a date. I, I know, Marge. I'm sorry. I can't. Look, Peg, you're going to have to stop this little girl stuff and start mixing with people that are hip. You're going to have to start taking a chance. Marge? Hmm? Suppose I, I took a chance and it turned out all wrong. Suppose you didn't even like me. Well, the reason for that is you're too conservative. You're shy. If you got your hair fixed and put a little lipstick on and got dressed, you could get a guy to do anything you wanted him to. You really think I could? Sure I do. What time does Peg come home? Mrs., what time does Peg come home? That's no concern of yours. I didn't ask you it was any concern of mine. When does she come home? It all depends. Maybe she has a date tonight. What do you mean it all depends? Don't you care what she does? We trust her. Peg's a good girl and we trust her. <laughs> we trust her. Suppose I told you you can't. Stop saying those things. Suppose I told you Peg goes for me. No. Please, no. Shall I tell you how she goes for me? Thinks I'm great. You're rotten. Rotten. <laughs> What's wrong, Mrs.? My fingers are... The needle. Oh. Tell me what to do. Tell me, tell me what to do. I don't know what to do. Tell me... stuff in the kitchen. Mom, where are you, Mom? I She's in here. You. She hurt herself. Mom, what happened, Mom? Nothing, son. Nothing. She had an accident. You hurt her. I'll kill you. Mommy, stop it. I'll kill you, you young coward. Now look, kid. He's just a baby. Go to it. Do anything you want. What is it? You all right, Tommy? Your mother? She's okay, Dad. 
What are you doing out here? You made me go out and get all this stuff for dinner. And I don't want to go back in. Uh, you better, Tommy. Because he said so. You're going to do everything he says, aren't you? He's the boss. Looks pretty good, huh? So, uh, what about the liquor? I gave you money for that, too, didn't I? I paid for it, but they wouldn't let me bring it. Oh. Hey! Come on, soup's on. You sit there. Come on, Pops. Sit over there. Well, Mrs., you can get the coffee later. Oh, uh, how come Peg isn't home? Probably had to work late tonight. Oh. Well, uh, quite a layout, huh? Hmm? A banquet, courtesy Nicholas Roby. <laughs> you, you think your stomach can take in as much as your eyes? Well, missus, you weren't supposed to do any cooking. Man, look at that turkey. Isn't that something, huh? Say, <laughs> what's that? This is our dinner. Yeah, but what about all this? That's your dinner. But I bought this stuff for everybody. But eat the turkey. Uh-uh. I like stew. I get it. Okay. When are you going to eat my dinner? All of you. There are some things you can't make people do, Nick. Tell me about it, Pops. Everybody gets to the point where they draw a line. When that line is drawn, you can't force them any farther. Not even with a gun. Not even if you beat them to death. People are like that. You read that in a book somewhere. I think you're dead wrong. You're going to eat my dinner. No. You'll eat my dinner and one of you walks out of here with a bullet in his head. No, you wouldn't do it. What do you mean I wouldn't do it? I'll blow your silly brains out. If you kill us, it'll be for a better reason than this. It takes just one shot to raise the neighbors. They'll call the police. No matter what damage you do to us, you'll still wind up a dead man. No. It wouldn't be worth it. Pass the butter, would you, Tommy, please? You forgot something, Pop. Most people don't even hear a gun when it goes off. And when they do, they think it's something else. Once in a while, maybe. But when your own life's at stake, it's not a good gamble, Nick. That's right. Only you just made it a gamble I gotta take. Carve the turkey. Carve it. Please, Fred. And, lady, take that stew or whatever it is and dump it in the garbage. Bring on some clean plates. Did you hear something sounded like a shot? I can't say that I did. It must have been some car backfired, I guess. Good night. All right. 
Let's eat. Funny thing, all I ever asked you people was just for a place to hold up for a couple of days. That's all. Something you'd give an alley cat. better do like I tell you. Yeah? Peg's gonna be awful mad when she finds me in there. Get back in there and go to sleep. Where you going? I'm thirsty. There's nothing he can do about it, so don't worry. Listen. Where's Peg? Where is she? Why isn't she home yet? Well, she better get here. All right, Mother. Get some rest. yourself instead of your old man. Your mother wouldn't have anything to do with you. I wanted to tell you. I ought to cut your heart out. Why don't you? What difference would it make? What do I mean to you? fixed. For me? Don't it. Listen. Why don't we get out of here? The both of us together. I, I don't know. We can go right away. Tomorrow. How could we? Well, I got plenty of money. You go buy a car for us in the morning. Sunday. Lots of used car lots open on Sunday. Get a good car, baby, a nice car. Would you do that? Would you do that for me? For both of us, Nick. Hey, you're for me, aren't you? All the way. And I'm for you, just you.
That's pretty good. Now, why don't you go to sleep and cut it out? And don't tell me you're thirsty, either. Come on, hit the hay. She come back. I told sure her. She was asleep. I covered her. Mother, why did she disobey me? Why did she come home? Why? Why? We're family, her family. When we're, she's here, she feels we're safer. Let me go to the police. They could figure something. I know they could. Fred, what are you going to do? I'll see. You just lie there. Don't even move. Please, Fred. Rabbit's got real guts. Ah, uh, you wouldn't get it anyway. What's the old lady and the kid do? Spend the whole day in church? Usually, they'd be home by now. Today, I don't believe they'll be in such a hurry. At this time, we present Reverend Charles Collins and your weekly sermon this Sunday, Reverend... What's it? What's that church stuff do for you, anyway? What's it get you? Well, for one thing, it makes a man understand the nature of love. Yeah? Yeah. The faith that there's someone else that's more important to you than yourself. That your family is more important than both of you. And that every other human is a member of your family. What's a holy Joe like you get out of life? What do you want out of life? To be left alone. To work, be left alone. What does a person like you would get out of life. Me? Are you kidding? <laughs> More than you'll ever save in your whole life. What good is it to you? You'll never spend it. No, that's what you think. Where do you think Peg is right now? At Marge's or her aunt's, perhaps. Does her aunt sell cars? No. Well, she's not at her aunt's. She's out spending 1,500 bucks of my money. You're lying. Yeah? She's out buying a car, a good car, for me. She won't get you a car. She couldn't. You wouldn't want to bet, would you? I'll give you odds. Oh, she would have told me, I know. She's my daughter. She never lied to me in her life. You're making it all up. No. Or maybe she just said she'd get you a car. That's it. That's it. She's playing along with you. She's not... Even coming home. First night I came here, she said she'd keep me safe. She came home last night, didn't she? What do you think she came home for? 
Dobbsy, take it easy. Relax. Now, will you take it easy? Get out. Get out before something terrible happens. Get out! Listen. When I leave, Peg leaves with me. There's nothing to wait for. She's not coming back. Understand? I, I don't want to do anything. I don't, want, take... I don't want to do anything. Hey. Don't spoil my chances. Nick, it's me, Pig. Nick, be safe. I told you she'd come back. I didn't start it. Well, he, he almost ruined everything. The keys. The keys to the car. I haven't got them. What? I told you. Oh. Where are they? The headlights. Something was the matter with the wiring. They're going to deliver it later. When? When later? In, in an hour. They're... I, I told them to deliver it right out front. Out front, that's good. Yeah, it's true. You did get it for him. I'm going away with him. Huh? Why? Why? I, is it a sacrifice for us, Tommy, your mother and me? Is that it? That won't help us. Paige, hey, you're part of us. What have we got to live for? We'll lose you. Do you think he loves you? He doesn't. He doesn't know what the word means. When he has no more use for you, he'll leave you. Kill you. Kill you and stuff your body under a cover. You've got to be able to trust to love me. He can't trust anybody. I have to go with him. I'm leaving. Daddy! Try to stop me. Shoot me. Go on, leave. But don't try anything funny. Because Peg's with me. She's with me all the way. Fred! Peg's going away with him. Why? I don't Fred, know. Fred, why? I don't know, but... Get away from here. Keep Tommy with you. Go to your sisters. Fred, what are you going to do? Don't. Don't. He'll kill you. Maybe. Maybe I'll kill him. She's not going away with him. Now, do as I say. Get going to your sisters. Fred, I... I won't take a chance of losing both Peg and you. Fred, do you hear me? Fred! I can't understand how... How it feels to know you're gonna get away. To get out. They said they'd park the car in front of the house. How long they say it would take. Don't worry, Nick. It'll be here soon. Maybe... Maybe you shouldn't have taken that car. There's something wrong with the lights. But they didn't tell me till after I bought it. Well, maybe I, I filled out all the papers. Maybe you should have got a, another car. Nick, it'll be here. They promised me they'd hurry. You're really coming with me, aren't you? Sure, Nick, sure. Well, your things, aren't you going to take anything? Everything's ready. I'm all packed. Oh, that's good, that's good. That car, that car, why doesn't it get here? Well, it better get here. Hey, hey, we're really gonna make it, aren't we? We're really gonna make it, huh? Yes, Nick, we will. You don't think your father's gonna try anything, do you? I, I think he'd be too scared of hurting me. He was wild when he left here. I know, but he won't. He better not. He just better not. Just when I.
Don't move. Don't move, I tell you. Don't move. Stop, Peg. Stop. You told him. Somebody told him. You were going to kill me. I need you. I need you. That's right. She says he's hiding out in her house. All right, her apartment. Sure he's armed. Look, look, we'll get it. Wait, wait a second. Got an idea. Hey, kid, where you live? I mean, what block? Look, kid, where do you live? I gotta ask my mother. I do want to tell you. Mom, well, the daughter... man out there, he wants... My daughter is with him. You must promise to be careful. We have promised, lady. We'll be careful and nothing will happen to your daughter. My husband wouldn't let me come to you. If anything happens to Peggy, it's my fault. Please, lady. What's the address? Listen. I don't hear anything. That's it. It's so quiet. The car. It's night time already. Why isn't the car here yet? I don't know why. I told you everything I know. You gotta promise me there's nobody out there. How can I promise? I don't think there is. You gotta promise. What kind of car was it? A yellow car. A convertible. Just like you wanted. What year? What make? I don't know what make. It was a good car. How much you give them for it? Fifteen hundred dollars. I told you. All right, all right. What about the receipt? Why should I lie to you? I'm telling you the truth. Where's the receipt? Maybe I could go phone and, and find out why phone. it's not here. How phone? How, how phone them? Uh, I could go downstairs, call from one of the neighbors. Sure, that would be great. Leave me here alone waiting for you while you go out and I'd have to go looking for you, wouldn't I? I'll come back, Nick. You always wanted to get me out of here, haven't you? Yes. Yes, huh? No. No. Which is it? Which is it? Only because I want... Only because you got a rig for your family. That, that's so. You went to the police and kept me waiting here for a car you didn't buy. I did buy the car. You're lying. They're waiting for me out there. Tell me they're waiting for me, Peg. Tell me, huh? Tell no. Me. Come on. No. sure of that. You're pretty sure. Well, let's go down and find out. Come on. Let's go down and find out. There's nobody out there. We'll find out, won't we? You better be right. You just better be right. Come on. If there's nobody out there, there's nothing to be afraid of. Nothing. Last night, coming home all dolled up, making a big play. Thought it worked, didn't you? Thought you had me all tied up, you and your family. You thought you had me all tied up, huh? Like a knot. So no matter what you did, I wouldn't do anything. You got me to trust you, didn't you? Huh? Took my money. Pretty good, pretty good. You promised to get me a car. You took my money. What'd you do with my money? Huh? I bought you the car. Yeah? Okay, why? Why? Because you love me? Is that what you said? You love me? Huh? <laughs> No answer. Now you're on the beam. That's better. Now you're cooking. 
You don't love me. You never loved me. Why don't you tell me? You never loved me, did you? Why don't you tell me? You never loved me. Never. I did love you, Nick. I did love you, Nick. I did love you. Nobody loves anyone. You, your old man, your family, the cops, my old lady, Al Molin. Garbage. Garbage! I did buy you the car. I bought you the car. All right, Nick. Show me. Show me. Where's the car? You're not taking her, Rovi. You're not taking my kid. You hear me, Rovi? You're not taking her. There's nobody out there, huh? Rovi! You're not taking my baby. Rovi! 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 Come out of there! Come out of there! Do you hear me? Peg. Get the gun. It's near you. You hear me, Rory? You're not taking my baby. You hear me? Come on, Rory. Give me the gun. Give me the gun. That's right, get it. That a girl. Pick it up. Give it to me, Peg. No, please, give me a break. Why, you... You got as much love in you as...